What's going on, arcade nerds? So far, we have painted the Tailbender 2 cabinet. And as I'm waiting for the paint to dry and so on, I figured I'd start on video number four. Video number four, we're going to touch on some of the electronics on here. Now, I don't have... Oh, grab that box, would, would you? Kyle, grab that box. I don't have the entire wiring harness, but this is what I do have. I happen to have the player select board right here for Tailgunner 2. I also have an original Tailgunner 2 board, CCPU, and I have the Tailgunner 2 soundboard. Okay? And here are just some cables to connect things together. Now, um, oh, before I go any further, I should mention. There was two different types of tail gunner slash tail gunner 2 CCPU boards. Some CCPU boards were like this and they had a wire to uh, allow, the, allow these ROMs to work. So in other words, some of these were a ROM hack and then others had a, uh, a ROM board that stood separately somewhere else and there's ribbon cables that, get, that went to a ROM board. I have this version which is the ROM hack which I'm totally okay with because I don't have the ROM board. So that's great. I believe um, Speed Freak also took the same ROM board. Then they switched to a different type of ROM board for uh, one more game, for um, Boxing Bugs. Anyways, long story short, I'm missing some stuff. So far, I removed the 13-inch um, uh, Wells Gardner 4600 monitor that's, that somebody rigged up. I also removed the, tight, the hacked Taito uh, power supply that somebody rig rigged up. So now I have a bare board. Well, there's a piece, there's another board that's supposed to be right here that's missing. So I just came from Home Depot and I had a piece cut. And, it's, and this piece is supposed to go somewhere around here. And the monitor is on one side and on the other side is all the electronics. Power supply, CCPU board, the sound board, and so on. And um, luckily, a friend of mine sent me these pictures. Now, the first picture you're going to look at right here uh, is this is this guy. <laughs> Forget his name. Forget his name. I will I will post some text so you can see it. You see it now. This guy, when he was a young boy, sitting in a Tailgunner Two cabinet. And when he grew up, he bought, he bought a Tailgunner 2 cabinet. And now this second picture right here is his son sitting in that same Tailgunner 2 cabinet. Isn't that cool? Uh, anyways, we're going off topic. <clears throat> this wonderful man sent me pictures of what the inside of his Tailgunner 2 cabinet looks like. And I found out that I'm missing a piece of wood that's supposed to be mounted vertically right here. And he even took measurements for me. And I found out that this is supposed to be six inches from this edge to the board and so on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount some angle brackets to hold this piece up. Now, originally there was supposed to be some um, pieces of wood, triangular pieces of wood that held up this, this main board. I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is use these brackets instead. Why? Because I'm lazy. <laughs> and uh, probably do one on each side. That'd be something. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to be rough with it or anything, hopefully. So, let me get the measuring tape out, and I'm going to mark where these brackets are supposed to go according to my buddy's instructions, and uh, I'll get you back in a second. Okay, I looked up the guy on my phone. I just, I just met this guy over Facebook. Um, anyways, his name is Carlos Rubio. And I'm going to show you this picture right here. This is the first picture he sent me. And something that's kind of interesting is, you see in the background where it says Tam? I have the same exact Tam, some of the same Tam, Tammy, or whoever, wrote on a permanent marker on, my, on the inside of my cabinet. So I'd imagine that's 
whoever assembled the cabinet or or who knows her you know quality pretty cool so anyways this we had, I have the same signature inside my cabinet that he does in his anyways in this picture I want you I want you to notice that there is a little bracket all right, all right first off you see that metal the big piece of metal sheet metal well, on the upper right of that metal sheet metal there's a little bracket that holds a little PCB that PCB is the is an external ROM board that allows a, a Cinematronics CCPU to play Tail Gunner. Well, it looks like in his picture he also has a hacked board. So at some point in time, he either someone replaced or repaired his his machine, and they put those two uh, EEPROMs, U7 and R7, and they did the same EEPROM hack that my uh, Vector Beam board has. <clears throat> it's not a big deal. It's a, it's a, it's a common thing. Uh, Cinematronics did, and I should say Vector Beam did that themselves. Anyways, um, so I'm going to show you this second picture. I thought it was pretty cool. In this second picture, you can see he has the uh, the whole unit out on on the table. And thank God for his picture because I can see that it either I think his plastic is blue and it's in front of the monitor. It's not like a shield that goes over it over the screen like like other cinematronics games are. I know this is Exidy, but I'm going to keep calling it Cinematronics because it basically is. Cinematronics Vector Beam. <clears throat> but yeah, pretty cool. Anyways, so he sent me a measurement in this picture right here. Is that this board starts six inches from the back. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start measuring it six inches from the back. Okay. I use these brackets here, here, and here, and here, and here on this side because I was figuring out where the uh, monitor is going to be and so on. It's about the best place I can put it without being in the way and stuff on this side, and without being on in the way of stuff on this side. So the correct measurement from this uh, upright board, six inches. I went six and three quarters, and that's where this line is. The reason I did six and three quarters, of course, is because. The board we're putting in is three quarters of an inch. So, put that. Okay. That's going to hold. Boy, this looks so odd. Like it's not going to fit in the cabinet. It does. Look After I mount this. I mount this board I'm definitely gonna go for a trial fit this just looks so out of place hey guys. it looks like that monitor is just right right butt up against this board but I know that neck's gonna stick out Bad. Let's see if this whole this this wood actually fits in the cabinet correctly. Back. Is going to hit this. Interesting, because that's the measurements of of another tail gunner cabinet, but this doesn't fit. So.
See, there's supposed to be a interlock switch right here. And when this door closes, it hits the switch, right? And this is the correct height from bottom to top, 16 inches. That's according to the other tail gunner 2 cabinet. But the problem is, you see this? That touches this wood. So, what the hell? Let me take a closer look at the pictures that I was sent and let's see what's going on. Okay, I figured out what's going on. On the, on the other cabinet, this piece of wood, even though it, it sure does look original, this piece of wood isn't even there on the other tail gunner cabinet. Now, if this piece of wood were not to be here on this cabinet, it would fit. So, I guess we're going to pull this piece of wood. Okay, so we moved it in a little further, and it's, but it still won't go all the way in. Well, guess what? There's another piece of wood down here. That's not supposed to be there either. So, let me remove yet another piece of wood. <laughs> Check this out. I figured out why it doesn't fit right there. You see this piece of wood right here? Somebody unscrewed it, moved it out a couple inches, and then re-screwed it back down. Check out here. Right here is the original, the original machine. See how that piece is moved forward? And that's moved back. Just that couple inches right there is what screwed me. I wonder why someone decided to, to move this two inches back. Interesting. Yep, sure enough, when, when we pulled this out, there was all those staples, and they were all bent over, and the whole piece of wood was moved over. Weird. Okay, take your bets. Place your bets. Is we going to fit this time? I guess the test is, will this close? Looks right now. Yeah. Looks good. There yep. we go. That's that. All right, now let's start mounting parts to this piece of wood. Okay, I put some brackets on this side also, and now this sucker is actually nice and solid. So that's good. I was a little worried about it being wibbly wobbly. Uh, so I put the, oh by the way, this back board is from Solar Quest. Just happens to be the exact same back piece of metal that uh, Tail Gunner uses. So I mounted that and I mounted the soundboard. Getting ready to mount the CCPU. Um, I'm going to have to get some screws or possibly find some screws. I think I'm, I'm sure I have them somewhere. But so for now I'm going to put two screws on per board just to hold it still. Oh, by the way, I've already tested this board. I know the CCPU board works, but I have never, oh, there we go. But I've never tested the sound board. I suppose I could if I plug, plug it into my tail gunner one cabinet. Okay, so I need a monitor ribbon cable. Where's that? Can you give me that box of uh, mm -hmm. cables? Okay, here is the monitor ribbon cable. Now the original board had a hole right here, and the cables would go through it. I may drill a hole there. But if it, if it works, I may also just go over the top if the cable's long enough. I'm not sure. Mm, yeah, it might we'll, we'll just, fit. yeah, I think it'll just work. If, if so, it'll actually look cleaner than yeah. driving much stuff through there. Okay, so, uh, hey Kyle, Yeah. can you grab the harness I have on the floor over there? I just so happen to have a harness from a Starcastle cabinet. 
Now, it's not the same harness as Tail Gunner 2, but I do know like the power section and stuff will be the same. Also, I need to point out, like for example, this is this is the power of the monitor. Uh, this would be going to the power supply. Maybe I'm wrong. I am wrong, ain't I? Maybe it's this one. No. Hmm. Oh, it's got to be this one. This one goes to the power supply. Okay. And this would go to the CCPU. And this would go to the... Well, here's a problem. This would normally power the soundboard, but this looks like it could fit here, and it could also fit here. So I need to make sure which one it goes into before I start plugging random crap in. I believe it goes here, but I'm not gonna plug that in yet. And... Coin door. Is that coin door? Mm-hmm. Okay. And that should be your speaker wire, that this green wire. This would be speaker wire. Yep. Hmm. Well, just this and plugging this into the monitor, those two things alone should at least get a picture on the screen. So, hey, Kyle. Yeah. Grab, turn this around. Grab that monitor and bring it over here. I have my boy Kyle helping me out today. Jesus, sounds terrible. What are you doing over there? Okay, that has a ribbon cable on it here too, huh? Go ahead and put it over there. We'll see. Now this monitor I borrowed from my armor, my extra armor attack cabinet. I have other monitors, but I just happen to know this one already works. So, you know, there you go. Just wanted to see what that looks like. Wow, that's a tight, that's a close fit, man. There's the holes. I happen to have, where are they? Hmm. Oh, Kyle. The see that monitor we we took off. Yeah. It has carriage bolts on it. They're like bolts that hold the monitor down. Be careful! Don't break the neck. You see them? There's one right there hanging. Whoops! I bumped this. This. Okay. No, that's a wire. You see a bolt? See the bolt? There you go. There's one. <laughs> this. <laughs> okay. I got two. I got three. There should be. Let's Four. Well, I got the nuts over here. You got nuts. <laughs> oh, I got nuts right here. You want to see these nuts? No, you're not. There, he's got the other one. Okay. So, I may not have every single part OG in this machine, but luckily, Cinematronics use the same parts for many of their games. I can't get that nut on. So, I can, you know, steal parts from other Cinematronics games, and it will work with this machine. Okay, it's handy. Oh, wait, we can't, we can't screw this on yet. What? Because there is a cold solder joint on the high voltage plug. Oh, that's right. I remember now. Okay. Totally forgot. I guess. Okay, I hooked a bunch of stuff up. It turns out this harness actually isn't far off. It's uh, it's very, very close to the original harness. The pieces I'm missing though, 
Uh, there's going to be a plug that goes here. I had to look it up, but I believe it supplies five volts and ground. Or I, I could be wrong. I'm going to have to look. I'm going to have to look this up. And there's a plug here which goes to the joystick. Uh, besides that, this is pretty much very very close. Now this is an interlock. Uh, according to those pictures, um, it's supposed to be mounted right around here, and this will turn the switch on when the door is closed. So I'm going to have to somehow figure out a way to measure that, rather than drilling a million holes, moving it up and down, to try to get that just in the right spot so it does that when the door is closed. Um, I had to shorten this wire, of course, because normally this went to the top of the cabinet. There's a knot on here. It just happens to be just in the right spot already, so that's cool. Uh, so, you know, you can move a knot, no big deal. This is the speaker wire. It's a little longer than it, than it needs to be, but, I mean, hey, it's passable. You can use it right away. Anyways, the speaker is mounted underneath this piece of wood inside the cabinet. So I guess I go like this and plug it right into the speaker terminals. <coughs> so I believe everything's all hooked up correctly that would be pull out if you're gonna, if, you know for for any newbies if you're unfamiliar with an interlock pushed in the middle is off pushed down is on or pulled out is on and some interlocks are just uh, push in and on See if we can break everything. I should get a picture from this thing now. Hey Kyle, can you give me the extension cord, please? There we go. Okay. Now, there's a plug, there's a ribbon cable that goes in the monitor. I'm pretty sure I got it right, but but if I got it wrong, that could damage the monitor. So what I'm gonna do is as soon as I plug this in, I want, I want to listen and see if there's vector chatter. That, that tick, 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 tick sound. So, here we go. Whoa! I heard something pop when I plugged it in. It smells like a capacitor. But where? I'm going to unplug the sound just for giggles. And I'm going to plug back in. There's an LED in the bottom right hand side of this board. It's supposed to turn on and flash and turn off. It did. Hmm, so where did the the cap or whatever the blue blue um blue Hmm, I don't know what popped. I wish I would have looked at the boards when I plugged it in. I don't know. Or did that pop come from the monitor? I don't hear chatter anymore. Yeah. Looks like my monitor took a crap. Awesome! Yeah. Breakers went. I heard chatter at first. Oh, I hear chatter now. I have to reset the breakers. I do hear chatter. Okay, okay. What the hell? What was that explosion I heard? I'm 
I'm gonna have to look over like <laughs> I don't see anything visually wrong but the game board's playing and the monitor's working looks like you need to adjust the line length adjustments on the monitor see how the tail gunner um, turns on <clears throat> and the lines don't touch in the corners there's an adjustment for that on the monitor hmm okay I should probably unplug this because I haven't even tested the 5 volts on this thing on this power supply but we're getting closer what popped? What popped? It's got to be on the soundboard, right? This heatsink is loose. Like, loose, loose. Huh. I know often on these soundboards, this transistor and this transistor uh, go bad. And when they do, you can replace them with tip 31 and tip 32. <coughs> Just make sure you put your NPN transistor in its place and the PNP in its place. Huh. I don't know. Well, I'm going to come back to this. <clears> hmm. <throat> it wouldn't make... I, I want... My, my wish is to put this in the cabinet right now. But the wiring harness is not done, so it's best to keep it out. I just want to see it working with inside the cabinet. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'm going to put it in the cabinet for now, but only to measure where this interlock switch is supposed to be. Okay. So, I know this has to go here-ish. And... I know this, when it closes, should be parallel with this piece of wood here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this piece of wood here. Just hold it. Hey, Kyle, put your finger there. Hold it there. And all I have to do is move this till it clicks. And then that. Okay, Kyle. Oh, oh, hold it. Hold it real, real firm in the back. I want level with with. You see how that, you make it level with that wood. Okay. Go ahead and let go. Take the wood out. Okay. Give me the drill. See if you could put that screw. See the screw? Head right here, right now. No, see the see the drill bit. There you go. Okay, yeah, give me another one. Mm, hold both of these for a second. Me and both back. I think that will do. <clears throat> okay, Kyle, I have another mission for you. Get this and plug that into the off. Whoops, piece of wood. Okay, hopefully that turns on when I close this door. Yeah, it turns yeah. on. It's on. <sighs> okay. Awesome. 
Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so now I guess the thing we have to do is, oops, smack the camera in my hand. I gotta figure out what the hell that pop noise was, because a pop sound is never good when it comes to electronics. And I have to figure out the wiring for the joystick and the soundboard. Well, I guess that's that. I, th I think tonight I'm probably out for the count. I'm gonna go go to bed. So we'll see how long this video is in the video editor. Maybe if if this video is at least 20 minutes long, then I will see you guys later and wait for part five and so on. Uh, thanks for watching my uh, stupidity here. And, uh, you know, have a good one, guys. Uh, please uh, hit that subscribe button if you can. All right, have a good one. Alright, have a good one.